morning students what happens when you see a mosquito sitting on your hand you suddenly shake your hand right then when you eat an orange you feel sore in taste or you breathe automatically so every single action that you perform is controlled by nervous system so here is a new chapter chapter 4 the nervous system and this chapter we will learn about brain nerves spinal cord and sensory nervous system is one of the very important system in our body we know that many organ systems are there in our body say for example like endocrine system digestive system respiratory systems etc so all these systems are controlled by our nervous system all the activities you do like eating walking playing running singing so all these activities are controlled by what our nervous system it also controls our sense organs like eyes nose ears tongue etc so what do you mean by nervous system do you have any idea nervous system is a system that controls and coordinates which means brings different kinds of elements together in an effective relationship so nervous system is a system that controls and coordinates the action of all other organ systems and organs of our body is called what nervous system what's it what is the nervous system nervous system is a system that controls and coordinates in the action of all other organ systems and organs of our body is called nervous system clear what is a nervous system nervous system is a system that controls and coordinates the actions of all other organ systems and organs of our body is called nervous system is that clear and again nervous system consists of brain spinal cord and nerves so nervous system consists of brain spinal cord and nerves let's discuss about brain the first part is our brain this is the most important or a very important part of our nervous system all the activities of our body is controlled by this brain or we can say that it is the control center of the human body then we know that brain is a delicate organ of our body and it is protected by a hard bony structure which is called a skull all these things we studied in chapter 3 so brain is a delicate organ and is protected by a hard bony structure which is called skull and one more thing there is a fluid between our brain and skull which is called the cerebrospinal fluid and this fluid act as a shock absorber which protects our brain from injuries clear then what is the weight of our brain our brain weighs around 1 and 1/2 kg which means an adult brain 
weighs around one and a half kilogram. And the most important part is this brain requires continuous supply of blood and oxygen. Clear? Brain requires continuous supply of blood and oxygen. A person can lose his or her consciousness if the brain does not get enough blood and oxygen. Clear? And enough sleep is necessary to give rest to our brain. So these all are the introductory part of chapter 4, the nervous system. We will continue with parts of brain in our next class. Thank you.